Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a quick video just to show you these two cattleyas that are looking absolutely amazing at the moment. Now we're going to go in and have a look at them in just a second but as you can see I've put them over here by the sink so we can get the benefit of the good light that's coming in through the window and I've just raised the one on the right up in a glass jar just to show you. It's not how they grow but it's just how I have them at the moment. And the one on the left is the king of Taiwan, Dashen number one, a uh, Cattleya orchid bought for its enormous flower. It is absolutely enormous and the scent, it's a heady spicy scent, really really fantastic. Now this one when it opened this year first I fear it had some kind of virus because can you see that slight discoloration on this petal here? But as the flower has opened more the signs have faded so now I'm not quite sure. It has some markings on various leaves, which I put down to kind of a bacterial type thing. So I'm not quite sure, but as the um, days have gone on, this flower is just going from strength to strength. So I now don't think it has a virus at all, but um, anyway, oh, it's fantastic. I think, you know, the fact that it's such a big plant and I only have one flower is not good. But the advantage has been that the one flower is absolutely enormous and if the plant had been pumping energy into creating lots of flowers I'm sure I wouldn't have had one so big. So wow, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous and the scent would just knock you out. There we go. I've had this one for a good few years and yeah, it's doing really well. And then this morning, I didn't even know it was near to open. LC Blossom Bounty has opened and this is a beautiful Cattleya that I've had also for a good number of years. It came to me as a seedling and I grew it to this size that you see now. Now I divided it, took two divisions off it last year so it didn't flower then but it has rewarded me this year with these fantastic flowers and they really are quite pretty. I love the split nose here. Really nice. Now this one, the dorsal petal is curling back and also on the King of Taiwan and this one is straight up first. Whether it's my environment or what, but generally with Cattleyas, this petal only stays upright for about a day before it decides to curl back. And um, whether my environment is too dry or something, I think that's probably it. But. Um, yeah, it's doing really well. Look at the king there. That has kind of, yeah, there's not a piece missing there. That's just curled around like that. Fantastic. I'm reluctant to leave these and go over and show you the other thing I wanted to show you, also in the Cattleya lines, but I guess I must. We'll come back and have a look at this at the very end of the video again. Right, so we've just stepped over to the other side of the kitchen because I wanted to show you this, this plant here, this enormous plant that you saw being cleaned not very long ago. And it's a species from the Cattleya Alliance. That's how the genus is written. And it's just a ginormous plant. And as you may recall, I had two spikes that were emerging from the, um, the leaves. And this one, look at it. Well, wow, this is looking so, so promising right now. I can actually even see the bud there. Now, my understanding is that these stems get absolutely enormous before they ever flower. So they'll go all the way up to the seeding. But this is the furthest I've ever gotten um, this plant to flower. So maybe it was down to the cleaning of the leaves that Dimitri did. So thank you, Dimitri. And um, the other one over here. It's less far advanced, but oh, fingers crossed, really, really big fingers crossed. And I honestly hadn't noticed this other thing I'm going to show you because I came over here to show you just this um, plant. And what do I notice but something else flowering? Now let's see if I can pull it out. I think I'm going to have to put down the camera for a minute. And here we have it. 
Look, look, look. This is just on the cusp of opening. Look at that. It looks all kind of mottled in there, so we're going to have to see how those colours develop as the petals open. This one less, and this one also coming. Now, this is a Taiwanese Cattleya that I just got in bud from Schwerter. That's the name of it. And it's called Samuel. So this is, um, well, my youngest son is called Samuel, so yeah. Right, so um, we'll have to come back and have a look at this when it opens fully, fully in a few days. But it's a real Cattleya fest around here at the moment. Absolutely. Okay, and back we are again at the sink where the light's a bit better and we can see the three Cattleyas together. The one on the left is being held by me, that's why it's kind of wobbling around like that. But, ah, isn't it great? Well, I'm certainly delighted with it. Now, this one, I don't detect a scent yet. Oh, I do. Yes, there is a scent. But it's nothing compared to the King of Taiwan. And Samuel says hi. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching. Check back again and hopefully we'll see this orchid here in better flower and lots more Cattleyas. Bye now.